Welcome to KXP's new home. We're in the middle of building our new home and I'd like to take you on a tour. We're starting in the south end of the space. In the back, um, it's very, very useful to the staff that will be office space. What I'd like to focus on for this tour is to highlight some of the amazing attributes that we're building that will be of benefit to the public, to musicians, to the music industry, and to the creative staff that we have that build all of the great music experiences that you get to experience when you come to KEXP. I'm standing at the back end of what we're calling right now our gathering space. This will be a space in which you can enter from First Avenue as well as the courtyard and it will be a space that has a coffee shop, that has food and beverage, and that will have some record store real retail. We'll have a stage, the DJ booth, as well as our reception desk. It will be open to the public to come experience the programming that KEXP has to offer, as well as to meet other music lovers, do uh, experience bands playing, do sign-ins sign for bands, so bands can have um, an opportunity to meet their fans. We'll have bathrooms down here on this side, La Marzocco will have their one and only cafe in North America here. It will go as far as to the first bay of glass. Down this side, the, we've, we removed 50 feet of concrete, so we open up to First Avenue. This right here will be our entrance into First Avenue. There'll be 20 feet of glass on one side, a 10 foot opening to First Avenue, and then 20 more feet of glass. It will be an open, welcoming, um, architecturally, it will be an opening and welcoming embrace for the um, Queen Anne community that has always just had a concrete wall facing it. It should be very visible from First Avenue and it should draw people into the space. Right here in this corner is where Cakes P reception will be. So if you're coming here for a meeting, this is where you'll find everything, information on KEXP, find the people that you're meeting with. Um, right behind it will be our conference rooms. It'll be one large conference room that can be divided into two. It'll be multi-purpose. We'll be able to have meetings that we need for the station, but it will also be able to serve as a back room to the stage, so bands can have a green room there when they're performing on the stage. We'll be able to do catering when we have other types of events in the gathering space. Right behind the stage is our DJ booth. So rather than tucking the DJ booth back into a corner, we designed a fully isolated booth so the DJ, so it can be as loud as we want to out here between the buses, between the bands being loud, between people enjoying themselves. It won't have any audio impact on what the DJ is doing inside. This will be a large window. This window will be a wide expansive window that comes up to about hip high. So the DJ will be able to see the people that have gathered and the people that have gathered will be able to have some interaction with the DJ. The design of this DJ booth was really important. We needed to make it large so the DJ could be in here with multiple people during drives, that interviews could happen, that DJs could actually DJ with other people because we often have guest DJs in as well. So we have a wider desk to accommodate the, the technology that's ever evolving. We need all, new screens all of the time for the DJ to control all the digital assets that we have. There'll be screens up on the wall above the window and there'll be three seating areas with plugins for those guests that are here for their technology that they're bringing. There'll also be a window on this side of the DJ booth. Right now the DJs only have this tiny window that looks out into the outside but in this way, the DJ will actually know what's going on. They'll see the weather. They'll be able to see people enjoying um, the rain, enjoying the sun, and being a part of the community. It is a fully isolated booth. We put the most effort into this room as being fully isolated. It is a box built within a box. There will be a raised floor of about 10 inches. It will have a ceiling on it, so it truly will be a box within a box to, to attain the full sound isolation that we need. As we move out this door, there'll be a hallway here that bumps over to access our conference rooms, and then the employee bathrooms be right along this side. It might not seem like a lot about bathrooms, but at KEXP, having only one women's bathroom and one men's bathroom to service 50 full-time employees, plus all of the, the 45 DJs that we have, it's a big deal to not have to wait in line for a bathroom. And when one breaks down, we don't go down to just one bathroom. So the staff are really excited about having large bathrooms for each, um, each sexes. 
the DJs will have the main DJs who are on air for the morning, afternoon, morning, midday, and afternoon show will have a shared office here. It'll be right next to the DJ booth and right next to the library. And because their shifts are different, John gets in super early, Cheryl comes in next, and then Kevin, it seemed like the best use of space to have them start sharing one large office. So their, their shared media can be in there, as well as their DJ assistants, and again, a good use of space. Just on the other side of the bathrooms is where we have our new library. The library starts, let me... The library starts here. The library is comprised of about four really main elements of use. It houses all of our um, media, our physical media. It, our librarian will have a desk in here. This is where DJ assistants will be active during the shows as well as for the prep and breakdown after the shows. And a new element that KXP is adding in, which we have not had for a long time, are, is a, a really, really great area for our DJs to do prep for their shows, but also to come in and listen to music, to practice, to really get close to their craft. So as you walk into the library, to the left will immediately be the librarian's desk, as well as a desk for the DJ assistant that is serving the on-air DJ right at that moment. All of this area from here all the way back to the wall is where our physical media will be. The large rack that we have currently now will move here to house our CDs and then there'll be additional storage all along this area. One of the, one of the aspects of this library that I'm most excited about is the DJ prep area. So there'll be a larger area here that will be room for a couch, chair, there'll be some, um, some desk area for DJs to stack all the assets that they want to listen to, whether it's CDs or LPs, and they'll be able to pop right into two DJ ISO booths. So we have two of them because we always have a DJ coming off the air, a DJ on the air, and a DJ coming on right after them to enable multiple DJs to be listening to music at volume, we needed to have isolation booths. So they're small, but they'll have um, the equipment that they need to do adequate prep and listening to hone their craft and really become excellent curators on air for KEXP. The prep area will be open, so the DJ will be able to loop all around the entire library and come right back to their prep area. All of our LP collection, which is quite vast, will be lined all around the outside of the isolation booths. So these windows that we created in order to have a better connection, a better connection to the Queen Anne community, um, when people come up to these windows and see in, they'll see uh, about 10 to 11 feet of LP stacked up here. And around this corner, right over here, there'll be, um, there'll be um, a whole shelf for DJ assistants to do their prep work. So when you're coming and looking, you won't just see um, LPs, you'll see people working, you'll see people walking through, and so it'll be another way to experience and understand how KEXP works. As we come out of the library and we walk down the hall, this is really where the hub of studios and, and um, rooms for bands to perform in, and their green room is down in this way, all the way down at the end. Um, we'll show you the open office space for the employees and some of the, the kitchen, et cetera, that we have for them. This open area that's yet to be framed in will be the future home of a second DJ booth, which will enable us to do um, more, more shows online. We'll be able to, um, for DJs that are just starting out, they'll be able to, to do practice shows. We'll be able to do teaching. We'll have to be able to have a teen show. We'll be able to have a lot more um, a lot more DJs creating a lot more music experiences. Next up is our CMR. This is our central machine room. It is about twice as big as the one that we have now because even in that room, we have completely run out of space. There is not enough space for our servers or the equipment that runs KEXP. So we're very excited to have proper air conditioning as well as proper space for everything that we need. This is a brand new room for us as well. This is what is, this is our VCR room, our video control room. This is where the, um, the video team 
We'll have screens for doing live switching during live in studios that will go directly out on the web for people to experience. They will have workstations, they'll have their equipment storage, and they'll have, um, they'll basically have adequate room to house the multitude of activities that the video team tries to accomplish on a day-to-day -day basis. So down this hallway, we have four edit suites. We have two that will be built and designed for video editing that will back up to the video edit suite so that if there needs to be connectivity between the two, it'll be really easy to accomplish. And these two will be two smaller edit suites. This is where we'll start doing our voiceovers for underwriting, as well as some of our pre and post audio mixing. Right across from the edit suites will be the entrance for the bands into the live room. And this is our new live room. It is 1,100 square feet and it is awesome. The south wall is yet to be built. This will be the wall that has the windows in it. On this side where I'm standing is where the public will come into view. And this will be a solid wall and solid window. So there'll be complete sound isolation from the band and the audience viewing it so we can preserve the true broadcast sound and the true broadcast approach that Catesby takes to in-studios. These windows will be blacked out during in studio performances to allow control of lighting for the video team to enable us to really achieve the quality of videography that we want we have to be able to control that lighting so it's a very important aspect another great addition to our new home is a control room that is large enough to house to house the equipment in the desk that the that the engineer needs but also that there can be seating in front this could be viewers, but it also could be the crew that's working with the band and they'll have full view of the band. And in the back, we'll be able to have a whole line of stools. These could be people viewing it, but it could also be students, whether it's, you know, this could be students of any age. And so we'll be able to teach while we're doing in studios, but also teach otherwise. The room will be large enough and capable to do that. The window that's between the engineer, um, the control room and the live room will be almost floor to ceiling. It will only be a few inches off the floor and it won't be all the way up to the ceiling, but it will be significantly high. So no one will be able to have trouble seeing each other through, um, through the glass. These are two storage rooms, but very important storage rooms. Catesby has a back, back line right now in which we keep in hallways and in studios. And this will enable us to actually house the backline that we have, get more backline because we actually do need it for the bands that come in. And we'll be able to access the equipment without pulling all the equipment out of a room just to get to the one piece of equipment in the back. This room is a case storage for the bands when they come in. Oftentimes bands, after they perform, they have time to go out to lunch or run around the city, but bands don't want to get their equipment stolen in, in their van. So they'll be able to lock up their equipment and this room is large enough that we should be able to house at least two bands at the same time and have their equipment stay in there and be able to perform in the studio without having their, their cases all in the studio with them. Right now when a band comes to KEXP, they're pretty much in the hallway when they're not in the in-studio room. This room will be the green room. It will house couches, it will house um, a mini kitchenette as well as it will house a bathroom. Come on in. So in this space was be where the couches and hangout will be. You'll walk through this door and if you walk all the way through, this is where the washer and dryer and a little kitchenette will be. And then right in the back, we'll have a shower, bathroom and sink. So essentially once a band comes in here, whether it's at seven in the morning to do a 9 a.m. Um, 9 a.m. shoot or whether it's in the afternoon, they'll have a comfortable place to be, relax, connect to our Wi-Fi, get work done, and perform in our in-studios. 
An important aspect, but a not very sexy one, is that we need a generator. When the power goes down, we need interrupted service so our in-studios can continue, that our on-air broadcast can continue, and that we can be an emergency resource if necessary. These two blocks, so we just had a whole block of studios and storage, and then we have another block of studios, and in between this will be some offices that have a recess, there'll be some workstations here, but a couple very important offices will be Don Yates' office for music director. We have a second music director office because we right now, Don cannot keep up with all the music that's come in, and another storage room for assets that people need working in this area. These studios down here are another really excellent, um, excellent evolution for KEXP. In our old studios, they were great studios, but these studios are specifically designed to have excellent acoustics. We worked with Walter Stork Design Group to really work on both the dimensions and the size for the functionality. We'll be able to have a single person in there and they'll be able to do mastering in a, an acoustically correct room, but we'll also be able to have other uses. They can have it in there for interviews. Bands could come in and do performances in there if we're not looking for them to do it in studio. And um, so basically two large rooms that can that can be extremely multifunction and high quality. So I am basically standing in the middle of our open office space. It will go from the back of the control room for the live room all the way to this wall, which will eventually also have the kitchen. The open office space will have three garage doors that go out to the courtyard, so if the staff elects to have one or all three open, they'll be able to elect to do so in the summer. A nice addition for the staff is that we'll have a kitchen that's large enough for them to have a breakout area to eat in. We do catering for bands, we do catering for events, and staff need a place for themselves to have their lunch. And in the space that we have now at KEXP, it's just too small to do anything but go in there, cook your food, and get out. So it will have, um, it'll have casework all around it for all those activities that I spoke about, but also an eating bar at the middle. So cake staff could actually, after heating up their lunch, they can plop down and enjoy their lunch and talk. Thanks for joining us for this virtual tour. We really look forward to you all joining us here and in person April 2016 for our grand opening. And until then, thank you for supporting KEXP.